Hey guys, welcome back. It's Geezer here with another build video. I just want to look at um, comparisons for you guys, comparing all of the different micro or tiny solo starter bases and looking at their costs and a comparison between them so you guys can kind of see uh, what the cheapest is and, and what the differences are between them. So just showing you guys the um, different footprints we're going to do. We're going to do uh, one of those. We are going to do one of those. So two triangles and then of course we're going to do three triangles. But we're also going to look at the difference between um, having just two triangles and then having like raised or like half walls around it as well. So like this, we're, we'll put, put two of these up here so we can compare them. I guess we'll just put the TC in them one after another. We can do another one of these two if you guys want. So you guys can see. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to do everything with stone, with metal doors. Requirement of this is that everything has at least two doors. Okay? So we need a, a door, like a secure TC compartment at least. Um, with metal doors and a stone building. That's the minimum. So we're just going to throw stuff down here. We're not too worried about the design of this. It's all really easy stuff, right? So this is kind of your minimum footprint for a base like this. And of course you'd have decisions to make in terms of uh, how you're going to um, you know put stuff in here but it's going to be at least like this right and of course in this design you know you could make two half walls here and then put a um like a triangle here but this is your minimum um one by one design like build cost okay most people using this design will have a higher build cost than this because they may have half walls and they may have a, a couple of triangles for storage and like, you know, shelving and stuff like that. So let's just put this here. And so there you go, 218 and 40. There's your minimum. All right, 218 and 40. Let's come over to the second one here. Now we're gonna build a slightly more usable one by one. That's pretty cheap though, as you can see. So it is possible to make something that's cheap. That's a one by one. And we'll probably see that it's going to be cheaper than some of the other builds that we do. And of course, it's a little bigger and that's, um, that's good and it's bad. this here in terms of what's like a reasonable I don't know it doesn't really matter where these high walls go and stuff like this but you know in this situation you might use like this for storage drop boxes down here and you might put a triangle up here so let's just put the TC on here we're gonna have to destroy the other TC and we're gonna upgrade all this to stone first okay so I think probably one more triangle would be common in this build as well Okay, so just kind of an example of like what someone might make with a one by one with kind of the stone added in that they might use. Could be configured really differently from this one in a lot of ways. But let's just look at what the cost would be 465 and 45. Okay, those are the one by ones. Now let's move on to the triangles, guys. 
So as we can see, that's still cheap. It's still very cheap um, for the amount of space that you have in here. I mean, it's a one by one, but you could fit a lot of boxes and stuff in here, potentially. Um, that's pretty good value. You know, maybe it'll make me rethink how often I would use this. Obviously, I've used, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not obvious, but I've used one by ones, you know, millions of times. I mean, I've made hundreds of them. Like, in wipe, on wipes. So, I mean, it's been my go-to for a long time. Um, but, you know, I really wanted to explore um, ergonomics of design and small footprints and things like that. So, like, there's a reason that I'm that I'm doing it this way. It's not just like because it's not just because put it that way. I mean, it's pretty easy to figure out what the triangle footprint's going to be. You know what I mean? There aren't that many. The design options are much more limited. But I guess we'll just start with kind of the most um, the more elaborate one. I don't know if that applies to a design like this. It's not really elaborate. It's still super, super simple. So now um, we can put an additional door here. I mean, additional shelf. Let's just make sure we're not missing any components that might go into a design like this. Here is, you know, drop boxes. You could obviously change the alignment of this to make this secure storage, just like we did in one of the other ones. Doesn't really matter for the purposes of this video. We're just gonna stick a TC in here anywhere. That's kind of in the TC compartment. And we are gonna look at the cost. 340 for our fully configured two triangle base. Three hundred and forty is that what I said? So obviously it has um, drastically less storage than the than the one by one. So in that respect, you know, the one by one is superior. Obviously, we knew that it was going to have a lot more space, and it's up to you to decide whether you know fifty percent more. Um, stone cost is a reasonable expense or not. You know, I, I really like the... Like, fitting your kind of starter into the most compact design possible. It's really easy to make something that is expensive. Obviously, you can fit, like, a lot of boxes, a lot more boxes, and, and a number of large boxes into a design like this. So when you have a square like this, I mean, it's a huge advantage. You can uh, arrange this two triangle setup to possibly fit three large boxes. Um, definitely two, because you can fit one up here and then one here, and then maybe you could fit in another one, but I'm not, I'm not sure if the bag would fit. So probably two large boxes but we wouldn't be putting large boxes usually in a build like this so we'd be using you know other other means a lot of the time like uh, the barbecue and uh, small box so that's it for this that's we can use those two these last two designs as kind of the maximum that we would be looking at for build costs for our micro bases hopefully you know we can look at half walls on a three triangle and then we'll have to see is that one going to be more than this one i don't know let's just start with the basic 
three triangle base for fun. Uh, I guess I guess I shouldn't do that. I guess I should do this one right here. It's just that I made a video like a minute ago with one of these in it, so I'm curious about the the other one. Like, <laughs> boom, done. You know, there's not really much to these two triangle ones. So one factor, of course, is that you can get one of these built in, you know, a few seconds. One sixty-five and forty. I mean, these are big differences, but you know your quality of life is very different in them as well. Like you can keep making smaller and smaller builds up to a point uh, until you get down to here, but you may not want to because you may just, you know, want to live a certain way. So I am curious to see what. The cost of this is going to be for the basic one you know i don't know so of course we're all it's a it's a difficult decision for us in this respect because we have an extra door path on this so the question is is it fair for us to um put an extra door in the build for comparative purposes because it doesn't need to have three doors um if we're putting one in here, is it like putting our thumb on the scale? Are we unnecessarily making, are we unnecessarily overpricing or inflating the cost of this base? So I don't know the answer to that because now with three doors, it's obviously a different grade of base because it's got an extra, you know, two or three rockets depending on what you're using um, or a little bit cheaper if you're using the Explo. And that's a different consideration. So I don't know really what the right answer to that is, but I'll let you guys decide that. So 233 and 61. I can't really call it the min, but put an asterisk there. You know, we know that we can fit, it is possible to fit everything in one of these, uh, including a workbench, which makes it vastly superior to um, some of the two triangle bases where it's very difficult or impossible, depending on the build, to get in a workbench but this has got a lot of space in it yo 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 oh good luck uh -huh. <laughs> bye uh, i just turned on private plot so <laughs> oh that's so funny Anyways, where were we, guys? <laughs> okay, so that's that's actually quite cheap, quite affordable. I don't know what you guys think, but you know, and um, there is it is possible you could put an extra shelf in here or something like that but we're doing min build here for that one and then we'd be doing like a more max build for this one and this one may be our most expensive you'll have to see and I know that you guys may disagree um, on some of this stuff so you may think like a certain build should be um, designed in a slightly different manner in it result in a sl slightly different cost. Um, by all means, leave leave a comment and tell me tell me what you think if you would do it differently or something like that. This is kind of just like my initial um, kind of evaluation of, of these things. So I, I know it's some of these things. It's not set in stone, even if we're making stone bases. 
But we are going to put three door paths on here. Then we're going to have to decide on, like, walls. Okay. It's a pain in the butt to get the... I'm just doing it like this because I'm going to upgrade everything at once. But, uh, so in terms of, like, an, like more shelves, I don't know what you guys think. We're going to want a workbench in here. So th this has to be the bag, or potentially it is. And then the workbench is going to go here. So, like, I really think... Just one shelf is probably kind of the max. That's that's like a reasonable common build, even if you could perhaps do something differently. Uh, we're we're going to put another shelf in here. Okay, let's upgrade this and look at our cost. And I'll like think if there's another build that we want to add but I'm not sure if there is okay 463.69 wow so there you go guys We've got an extra door so the 69 versus 45 um is not actually entirely, a, it's not a reasonable comparison, exactly. I mean, 69 might be better because it's got an extra door, but I don't know, depends what you depends what you want. So, you know, this base, three triangle base, um, may still have less storage than the one by one, like one box there. Um, Two boxes down here bag maybe you could fit another box here so possibly four large boxes maybe and like over here over here like one there three four five i mean probably five i don't know maybe six five five or six possibly no, I don't do one. <laughs> He's coming back. Well, I don't do one by ones with like maxed out storage. It's been a while, so um, let's say five versus four, roughly. So you know the storage capacity of the other one is is better. The footprint is bigger. Um, this one has a, a an additional door path, um, but the cost is there's the costs of them are similar. For me, I'm 100% taking three. Um, three triangles with three doors over two doors uh, even though the other one's got a little bit more storage because listen you know we're not really making micro solo starter bases to, to get storage right like it's not the primary consideration hardly ever okay so why are we doing these style of bases you know the reasons might be to be nondescript because it's out of necessity because we have limited resources or the a, a limited ability to farm for resources later on in the wipe um, we may have a specific like tiny design that we will end up with and this is just the the starter footprint that we're going to use um, you know there could be all sorts of different designs but it's, it's not usually to make a tiny base that's got lots of storage in it although that it would be a valid reason to, to do that i just don't think that's like number one on the list so i would say like the most um value per square foot i don't know how, however you would consider that like whatever's the cheapest to build for the amount that you get and from my point of view um the maxed out three triangles pretty good this is a pretty good base for the size of it the one by one is a good design um you know 
two triangles cheap too. I, you know, when we build these out, I think we see that without the half walls, like, I don't think, like, the value is always there. So that's pretty interesting that the minimum versus the max, it's almost it's almost exactly double for the maximum. Um, you know, so some people would want to hit a couple of nodes and then they can put it in their base. Maybe it's up somewhere out of the way and you're not going to be there for a while and you're on a weekly server maybe and you could leave it for a whole week and it's not going to decay. So for me, my consideration is keeping it cheap so that my base doesn't decay. Um, because I may not be on every day. I may get bored of farming later in the wipe. That's the real reason, right? And so if I've got a high upkeep, particularly high qual, that's the number one. Let's be honest. Um, but I'll, I'll let my base decay or I'll give up on it sometimes. Especially if I've got a bunch of these around the map and I gotta visit them periodically to um, for, like add upkeep to the TC. You know, these are the types of considerations that I think about. But what do you guys think? Do you think there are additional footprints that I should be adding to this? I'm very um, purpose purposely not adding the two by one. You know, for me that's not the one of the build fit footprints that I work with very often. I just want to let you guys know that. Everyone does a two by one and, and it's a great classic iconic rust design. It's just not one that I'm looking at. So I look I try to go smaller than that as a base starter footprint. So anyways, let me know what you think. Um, please comment and subscribe, hit notifications if you uh, wanna not miss any of my future content. Thanks for watching.